Loved across the globe as a hearty breakfast staple and a satisfying snack, peanut butter's humble origins trace back to the pre-Columbian peoples of Mexico. Originally utilized as a foundation for a variety of sauces, this tantalizing blend of ground-roasted peanuts has now found itself center stage in a scientific breakthrough of incredible magnitude. A dynamic team of scientists, under the leadership of Professor Malcolm McMahon at the Center for Science and Extreme Conditions at Edinburgh University, have unveiled a groundbreaking revelation. They've shown that this everyday spread, peanut butter, can transform into one of the world's most coveted treasures, diamonds. In the heart of the Earth's mantle and at meteorite impact sites, specific conditions allow for the formation of natural diamonds. Here, carbon-bearing materials are exposed to tremendous pressure, approximately 45 to 60 kilobars, juxtaposed with a surprisingly moderate temperature range between 1600 to 2370 degrees Fahrenheit. Recreating these extraordinary conditions, Professor McMahon's team demonstrated that the transformation of peanut butter into a diamond isn't a magic trick or a chapter from a whimsical fairy tale, but it's a product of ingenious science. The experiment begins with a small amount of peanut butter placed between two diamonds, which serve as anvils. Think of it as a supercharged pressure cooker with the diamonds acting as the lid. The reason for using diamonds here is twofold. They are incredibly hard and are themselves a form of carbon, which is significant for the transformation process. The next stage is where the magic happens, or rather, where the intense physics happens. This peanut butter sandwich is compressed under extraordinarily high pressure. By using a machine that can generate pressures up to 5 million atmospheres, the peanut butter is subjected to a force far beyond anything it would experience in your kitchen pantry. Under this immense pressure, the carbon atoms within the peanut butter start rearranging themselves into a crystal structure, which is a diamond's defining characteristic. The heat from the pressure expels the other elements found in peanut butter, leaving only the pure carbon diamond behind. And voila, what was once a common spread on your breakfast toast transforms into a gemstone of dazzling beauty. The professor emphasized that the objective isn't just creating gem-quality diamonds, a venture that would be astronomically expensive. Rather, it's about harnessing the power of immense pressure to transform a range of carbon-containing materials, peanut butter being just one example. Loving the video or learning something new Smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content you won't want to miss. The Grand Theater of Science holds space for numerous other carbon-rich materials that could potentially dazzle as diamonds. First, let's step back into our culinary world. It's not just peanut butter. Other foods rich in carbon, such as bread crusts and cooking oils, could theoretically be used in the diamond creation process. Imagine your humble loaf of bread being a potential source for one of the most valuable gemstones in the world. Moving beyond the kitchen, coal, the black gold of the industrial era, is another carbon-heavy candidate. This ancient resource, formed from the remains of plants over millions of years, is the classical go-to material for hypothetical diamond-making scenarios. Despite common misconceptions, Diamonds aren't actually made from coal in nature due to the different geological processes involved, but under artificial high pressure, high temperature conditions, it's theoretically possible. Graphite, another allotrope of carbon like diamond, can be a source too. In fact, many synthetic diamonds are produced using graphite subjected to enormous pressures and temperatures in laboratories, emulating the intense conditions deep within the Earth's mantle. Even the remnants of life itself, in the form of cremation ashes or hair, could serve as starting materials. Companies already offer the service of transforming the carbon in these mementos of loved ones into lab-created diamonds as eternal keepsakes. The scientists' ambition doesn't stop there. They're currently crafting techniques capable of generating pressures up to a staggering 5 million atmospheres, significantly higher than the center of the Earth. Their ultimate quest? to create the holy grail of high-pressure physics, the elusive metallic phase of hydrogen. Let's begin by understanding hydrogen in its most familiar state. Typically, hydrogen is a diatomic molecule composed of two hydrogen atoms bonded together. It's a colorless, odorless gas under normal conditions, and it's critical to life as we know it, making up two-thirds of the water molecule and the bulk of the sun and stars. However, when subjected to immense pressure, we're talking millions of times the pressure at Earth's surface, 
theory suggests that hydrogen could transition into a new state, metallic hydrogen. This is where the atomic structure of hydrogen alters, allowing it to exhibit properties of metals, like being a good conductor of electricity. Discovering metallic hydrogen isn't just an exercise in curiosity. It's believed to have an array of remarkable properties that could revolutionize several industries. For instance, it's predicted to be a room temperature superconductor, a material that can conduct electricity with zero resistance. The implications for energy transmission and storage, magnetic levitation, and high-speed electronics are incredibly exciting. In their pursuit of metallic hydrogen, scientists like Professor Malcolm McMahon and his team use diamond anvils to exert tremendous pressures on samples of hydrogen. These anvils squeeze the hydrogen until the pressure triggers a transformation into its metallic state. In essence, the future of high-pressure research is bright, much like the diamonds it produces. It offers immense potential to push the boundaries of our understanding and create technologies that can truly shape the future. As the journey unfolds, one thing is clear. There are remarkable transformations on the horizon, and we've only just begun to uncover them. Before we bid adieu, let's ponder this. What might the future hold as we master the ability to create diamonds from something as ordinary as peanut butter? Is it a step towards a greener and more sustainable future or a potential trigger for unforeseen consequences? We stand at the juncture of scientific innovation and environmental responsibility. The path we choose to tread will shape our collective tomorrow. Your perspectives and opinions are invaluable, so be sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you found this journey from breakfast spread to sparkling gemstone as intriguing as we have, do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more captivating insights into the scientific wonders around us. As always, thank you for joining us on this exploration. Until next time, stay curious and keep questioning.